Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Backyard Baseball Challenge. A challenge that is not the Shake and Bake Challenge. Now, this time, I'm doing a challenge that I've that I've always kind of wanted to do, but I haven't got around to it, but I figured I'd get around to it today. This is going to be, this is essentially the bunts only challenge, but the twist, or the interesting fact about it, is I'll be using the fastest possible team in the entire game. Star Moonbeam, Henry DeSanes, Ichiro, Earl Abbott, Stuart Sullivan, Julie Dunkel, Pete Wheeler, Grace Tipton, and Wayne Louie. Well, technically this team is tied, because there's 13 possible players, well, with five of them being, in fact, a guaranteed on this team, because they're 100 out of 100, or tied for the fastest, but... There could technically be a couple of players that could be on this team, yet I didn't include. But, let's go to the roster here. I've already started this up to see the stats of my players, but, so as you can see, Star Moonbeam, Henry DeShanes, Wayne Louie, Pete Wheeler, Earl Abbott, Stuart Sullivan, Grace Tipton, Julie Dunkel, and Ichiro. As you guys may have noticed, Grace Tipton and Earl Abbott are, are actually clones of Wu and Louie. So essentially, how the speed tier works in this game, for anyone that doesn't know, that that is new to it, the speed works in like tiers out of 100. So tier 1, and there is 5 players which are on this team that are tied for it, those players are Pete Wheeler, Stuart Sullivan, Star Moonbeam, Star and Stuart have the same stats by the way, they're clones of each other, Henry DeShanes, and Julie Dunkel, in which Henry and Julie are clones of Pete but better. These five players have a hundred out of a hundred speed, and essentially they're they're basically tied in a five way tie for the fastest kid in the kids in the game or characters in the game. So essentially, but then it gets interesting below one hundred because there's actually speed tiers out of a hundred. So how it works is essentially tier two is ninety six out of a hundred to ninety nine out of a hundred speed. There's like, I'm pretty sure there's like, eight characters that fall under that category, in which four of them I selected here. So half of them. Then the next category down is, is 80, or tier 3 is 80 to 95 out of 100 speed. Anyone in like, 85 to 95 anyone in between the tier in tier 3 or has a speed stat internally of 80 out of 100 to 80 to 9 no not 85 95 out of 100 runs the exact same way if that makes any sense so something that's interesting is that some players despite having more stats bowl cards run the exact same so, for example, tier 4 speed is level, which is the average, is 80, is, is, no, it's it's 60 out of 100 to 79 out of 100. However, as you may know, that, that rounds out of the 10 ball system here, that could round to either 8 or 7 out of 10. That's the thing. Any player that has an 8 or a 7 out of 10 runs the exact same, despite having one or less ball on their card. Fun fact. And the same goes for, the same goes for 5 and 6, 3 and 4, and 1 and 2. So, d despite Mike Piazza having a 3 out of 4, he'll run the exact same speed as, let's say, Frank Thomas, who has a 4 out of 10. So, so just a, a little trivia or a little fun fact for anybody regarding the speed tier. In fact, it's it's a, 
And as a tip, if you're using the bows on your custom character for your season and you want to make them as good as possible without doing any hacks or doing it as you would normally, never give them a an even number on this running stat because you're just wasting a ball because like, like a 1 out of 10 runs the same exact speed as a 2 out of 10. Because any speed from 1 out of 100 to 19 out of 100 is the same speed tier. Just as a fun fact. So don't give them an even number. Aside from maybe 10 out of 10. Because I don't know if that's the same as 9 out of 10 yet. For the custom character. So I figured I'd just say that as a fun fact. For anyone that how the speed tiers work, I figured I'd mention it because, well, I mean, we are playing with a team that revolves around speed or is tight for the fastest. Now, something that's notable is that this is this team could, in fact, be better at bunting. What I could have done is because, see, I didn't just include speed. I figured I'd do the two fastest speed tiers, but I also included stamina, which is why. Earl Abbott and Grace Tips ten are here. You see, I could have, in fact, there's actually four. Yeah, as I said before, there's four players. Those are Kathy Wolf, Susan Gore, in which Susan is the Ichiro clone. All the pros have a female counterpart or a female character that is the exact same stats of them. All thirty one, and Susan Gore is his clone. Maynard McElroy, Kathy Wolf, and Lindsay Felgate are all are all are all in the same exact speed tier as Earl, Huan, Ichio, etc. Yet the reason why I didn't pick any of them is because stamina. And I also did a G G J G J H Gaming, however you want to pronounce that, on his challenges. Which is what these are inspired on, by the way. And, uh, and I could have technically put Lindsay because she had like 70 some out of 100 stamina instead of Wayne and, and Ichiro who have like 60 out of 100 something. Or Wayne has like 54 or 57 while Ichiro has 60 out of 100 stamina. However, I didn't do that because like in... GJH is a video, GGH Gaming. By the way, check his channel out. He's a really good backyard baseball YouTuber. I figured to ver to have some variety in the players, I'd include these two, because even though their stamina is a bit worse, they they run the exact same. And Earl Abbott and Grace Tipton, who are both clones of each other, are have the best stamina. Out of the characters that aren't each year or land, so that's why they're on this team. So that's so yeah, that's why I pick them. But without enough of but with enough of the intro and the explanation for this out of the way on how I created this team, I think it's time to check out the team that we're bunting against. The Expos. Okay. <laughs> okay. Bruh. This is the first time I've ever seen them put Quentin at the plate. Or at, home, or at the pitching mound. Katie. Mary. Horace, who's Dimitri. The Dimitri clone. Camera. My lord, this is probably one of the worst CPU-generated teams I've ever seen. Like, five of these characters, or no, four or five, yeah, four or five of these characters aren't even, weren't even drafted in the baseball league, these five, are this string right here. Oh my god, I might, I might just... I'm not gonna, because I've already explained this, but I honestly want to restart so I can get a better team than than what than this. Like my lord, this is gonna be easy, cause this is gonna be easy, cause Ray has no arm, Quentin doesn't really have an arm, 
KD has a bad arm in, in the row, not even that fast. If I was using a regular team that wasn't this or that I didn't have to bunt with, I would destroy these guys. But regardless, with the intro out of the way, and considering how it's already 10 minutes into the video, I figured let's get into the game and get into the bunting challenge. May the challenge begin. This is the first time I've ever faced Quentin on the mound. By the way, one fortunate thing is that since this... Is, okay, come on. Forgot to do this. There you go. Another fortunate thing is that... Is that since this is on cement... Yep. No need to even sprint, my guy. Yep. One fortunate thing to note is that since this is on cement, we're going to be even faster. And I should be able to just steal all the way to third because KD has no arm. Yeah, look at that thing. <laughs> Yeah, and Quentin has 1 out of 10, 100 stamina on top of that. Yep. No. The only... The only thing that worries me about this is with the two strike count is there's a chance that they could just all strike out. Cause if you cause if you bunt on a two strike count, it's just a strikeout if it's fouled. Or if it or if they don't even make contact. I don't get what I did wrong with that when I was on the right stance. So, Quinton's probably already basically drained. Come on. Yes. No need to sprint. Oh! Nice job. Yeah, this is gonna be a piece of cake. Look at this. Ah. 
I mean, it wouldn't matter if, if it, the only one that would be usable here would be the crazy ones, but I would have liked a power-up anyway, even if it doesn't matter. Yep, you're on. Now here's the problematic part. Okay, Cameron's slightly better for the mound, because he actually, Cameron actually has, an, has a usable arm. Okay, come on, yes. Cameron actually has a decent arm, despite the two in fielding. Okay, now here's going to be the issue. I'll steal since he just got on the mound. What? Come on. Okay, there we go. Come on, come on, come on. Ugh. You see, once I get their entire team drained, then this will be easy. Okay, come on. Okay, got it. I don't usually make the triple steal cancel. Crap. Go back. Man, everybody so... Man, Earl was almost at second by the time that failed. Yes. Come on. Yes! Yeah, this is going to be a slaughter. How do you even foul a bunt, by the way? Yes. He's already drained. Oh. Let's go, Teddy. Sent. Darn it. Okay, come on. Okay, good. Yep, you've made it. Cameron surprisingly isn't drained, as it seems, which is honestly surprising. Yes, no. 
Yes. No. I wish that there was an option to just halt all stealing, by the way. No, quit running. Okay, regardless of what it is, it's it's okay to steal here. And that's a walk and a run. Yeah, look, uh, yeah. Yes, I honestly, I didn't even think that that was going to work. Wow. When you think about it, this would be a pretty easy way to get... But playing with this on easy mode would be honestly... Playing with this... Playing... Ugh, what? Shut up! Playing with this... Shut up. Yeah, but... Playing with this on, on easy mode would honestly be probably one of the easiest ways to get to 99-0 in this game. Or to score 99 points. No, come on. Yes. Okay. Okay, that's garbage. 
I remember correctly, Julie, or if I remember the stats correctly, Julie is basically Pete Wheeler from 97. Are you trying to do what we're doing, Vladimir? Crap. Oh, nice try, Pete. By the way, just look at how fast these players are. Hey. Hey, Vladimir. No, I didn't. I like just messing around with the players and like just roaming around with them on the field. Hey, hey, punk. No. I mean, if I was going for 99 to 0, then there goes that for this one. Oh, crap. Hey, come on, Horus. Boy, nice job. We got the juice. Yeah, I think he'll be fine. You know, I should probably, considering how Julie... Considering how Julie probably has a, a perfect slow ball. Or no, because Pete had one in 97. And how it doesn't really take up any stamina. I should probably be just spamming slow balls. Nice job. No, I didn't. I, I meant to just press on the stance there. I didn't mean to go for that. Although I do mean to go for this. Yes. Shouldn't even need to sprint. Yep.
Yes. Oh, she threw it over there. Threw it. Come on! And that's an out. Wow. Backed. Yes. Nice job, guys. Stewart. Come on. You know, I should probably wait. To steal with everyone until the ball. Oh my god, that's beautiful, my dude. This time I'll, I'll look and I'll see where the ball is before I do the, the steal with bases loaded. Yep, made the right call there. No need to run. No, you hit it too far, but it shouldn't matter. Yep, it doesn't. Nice job. Oh my word. Come on. Yes. Yeah, that's that's unfortunately that is useless, but as you guys saw by her, she's now drained. Well Gretchen is.
Nope. Okay, I'm not sure about Catherine's stats. Yep. This isn't even a challenge. What? Yep. Nope. As I said, if you're looking for a team that that open, come on. If you're looking for a team that could probably easily go ninety nine to zero, this is probably the team on Cement Gardens or Ten K and Alley. Ah. Oh. Okay, thank you. Okay, Catherine has a decent arm, I guess. Yep. Okay, so Catherine should be coming out anytime soon because of the five run rule. Roughly five run rule. No? Okay, that one was bad. No. Oh, of course.
Oh! What? I was going for it, yet the character just decided to not bunt. I hate how fast Mary pitches. Okay, finally a slow one. Okay, so so if I want to continue this, I need to get Mary off of the mound. She just pitches too fast. Okay, come on. Okay, good. No, no, no. Once again, it just comes so fast. Let's go, Teddy. No, I... <sighs> oh, no! No! Yep, everyone's everyone's fully You know what, I'ma just pitch it down the middle to him. Dude <laughs> There you go. Fortunately, Ichiro was there to compensate for her error. Oh. No. What? No, Earl has no... Okay, good. Get over here. There you go.
Nice job. Honestly, in instead of a challenge, this is honestly just feels like an easy, just an easy mode to play this game on. Oh my god. Wowie wow wow is honestly my same reaction to what just happened. I think I've already made the point of the video and but when as soon as I get past the expos in the third round or inning or the third inning, yeah when I get so yeah, so when I get three outs here, I'll just probably cut the video short because I'm sure that if I actually played through this entire game, this could last for hours. Okay, now this is this is where it might become a challenge now with Vladimir on the mound. Cuz Vladimir actually has an arm. It would also help if Julie bunted it fair, although I can't, I can't do open, or, oh no, I can't do squared. Okay, he got me there. Yeah. Dude, he was bunting.
What? Okay, then. Bro. <laughs> well, let's see how slow he is. Okay, if he hit a home run off of me with that smack of his bat, that, that was about to just die of laughter. Well, I guess we won't be able to see it because he just looks at it. No, 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 no. Okay, good. So that's, so I'll, I'll just call the video there, honestly, even though we're only about halfway through the game. I mean, I'm, I'm up 27 to 1. As I as I said, this could this is definitely a team that if you want to, this is definitely a team where you can easily get to ninety nine to zero with just bunting. Honestly, like if you give the other team using snailmemes.com, which is how I which is how I get these players. By the way, I'll link it in the description, but. If you can just get, if you can just create the opposing team, so like you'll see expos in the schedule, and you just make that that team have like have like awful arms, and just use the team I'm using, then you could easily go for like, then you can easily go for freaking eleven or ninety nine to zero. But with that out of the way, I think that'll be the video for this quote-unquote challenge, even though it wasn't exactly a challenge at all. But with that out of the way, I'm just scrolling through the players, but with that out of the way, I think that'll be it. I'll see you later, guys.